Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. We are here in the field <clears throat> of corn. Just uh, topping off the corn planter here that uh, we have on demo. And then going to get rolling again. I did get all of our headlands done so that is finished up we are going to just take this and move it right off to the side for right now and get right back to rolling here We gotta get the liquid cart hooked back up. Unfortunately, with our tender setup at the moment, we can't really get in to uh, fill the. Ooh, come on here. Why do you not want to? lower here. Oh, we're selected on the wrong thing, that's why. There we go. Um, with the liquid cart and our current tender, we can't really get into the seed tank without unhooking the liquid cart. So, it's kind of a pain, but it is what it is. So, we just have to make do with it. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, do some planting. And see how much more of this field we can get done. We are using a fair amount of seed. Uh, at the moment. So. Um, a good portion of this field is in a high seed rate area. But that's all right. We uh, oh, turn it a little too sharp there. We can definitely cover the cost of the seed, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Uh, if we hop over to our precision farming here, our pH is all good, and our nitrogen for the most part is uh, good as well. I see over here we do have some lower spots, but still uh, fairly decent there. Um, I did not remember to reset our field data from last season. So, but as you can see, a good portion of this area is a high seed rate. So, a majority of this field will be that way, but uh, that is going to be quite all right. Uh, definitely really liking the tractor and this planner. Um, it's definitely helping a lot to be able to run it a lot faster than our other planner was running. Uh -huh. Much faster, actually. So that is definitely going to help cut down our time spent planting. And uh, we'll be able to... We'll be able to get rolling as well fairly quickly. 
So we'll be planting today, and then tomorrow we will probably be finishing planting. Um, we aren't going to have any spraying to do um, because of the fact that we plowed our fields. Um, we shouldn't anyways. I believe that uh, fields 9 and 10 there should be good. Um, but in the next episode, we'll find that out. We'll do some fast forwarding and uh, kind of see. So we'll find that out for sure tomorrow. But uh, I think we should be pretty well off. Um, and I think we're going to be probably swathing our oats. So we'll get the swather rolling first. That flex though. Um, we'll be getting the swather rolling first and let him run for a little bit, get a little ways ahead of us. And then we'll come back with the, uh, combine and other machinery and we'll, uh, get rolling on that. This guy's moving his way down. I want to take a look. So down here in field 36, we have farmland 33. Um, it's going to cost us 31,000. Or we have farmland 11, which is 436,000. Now farmland 11 is a bin complex and then 33 has some grain bins. Um, debating on looking into purchasing the bins and or leasing the complex down there. Um, I'm not quite too sure that our current bin setup is going to cut it. But I'm not too uh, sure. Um, we could buy the bin complex. That would run us. We'd have to take out some loan for it. Or we could just add to our current uh, bin system here in the farmyard. Um, and maybe just put up a couple of bigger bins. Uh, which is something that we might look into. We might just see how harvest season goes. Um, you know, not too sure what kind of yields we're going to look at. I don't think that the four bins that we have is going to cut it. I could be wrong, but uh, I don't. I don't think that's quite going to cut it for all of. Uh, the land that we currently have and with the crops that we are running uh, this year uh, beans that we're running the two highest yielding crops on the map so we'll have to figure something out um, either we'll have to get on the phone with the bin company and get a couple more put up. Uh, see if maybe we can't get maybe a couple of hopper bins or something. Um, we'll just kind of have to see. Maybe we'll see about even just tearing down what we have. And switching over to all hopper bins. Um, you know, if we put up. I don't know, six or seven, six to eight hopper bins, we'll say. I think we would be doing okay. And I believe that we can sell the uh, bins. Let's just uh, go over here and look. Yes, we can sell them. 
So it'd be just shy of six grand for each of the small ones, and then the larger ones would be a little over seven thousand. And then we could put up some hopper bins there. Um, we could even potentially find a different spot to put the air seeder. Um, and we could even maybe put up a few hopper bins over there if need be. And that would be a lot easier to do as well. Because then all we got to do is we just get some rock hauled in. And uh, get a little bit of a base set up for them. And then have some hopper bins hauled in. We don't have to wait for them to be built. So if we wanted to do it, we could do it now. Um, and then when they come to put in the hopper bins, they'll take our Roscoe bins with them and haul them out. Um, or if we find someone that wants to purchase them, and have them moved. Uh, there is also that option available. So, kind of just a toss up. Um, we'll just kind of have to see. I'll probably make some phone calls. See what I can. Uh, see what I can figure out of what's going to be kind of a better option for us moving forward, as well as a um, faster option. I mean, if the bin company can get out here right away and start putting up some bins, uh, we could do that and maybe just get, like I said, maybe get a little bit bigger of uh, bins. Or we can get try and get some hopper bins put up. I'd like to look into putting up a uh, seed and fertilizer, well, a seed bin and a fertilizer bin as well. Then we can, in the wintertime, haul in uh, seed, solid fertilizer, and if we could haul lime in too, it would be nice, and get those three crops, or those three uh, products brought in in the winter time then come spring we have everything at the farm that we should need that would help us a lot um, in that aspect so and uh, also to get a in the future, when we come to it, getting a tank each of liquid fertilizer and herbicide as well. Uh, those would also help us out quite a bit. Having everything at the farm would just help us out a lot more. Um, I mean, we can stock up on it in the wintertime, store it. And then we have it right here at the farm, uh, especially with, you know, everything kind of being mainly around the farm um, right now. Granted, in the future, as we expand and move further away from the farm, um, then we can, you know, still run just to the co-op if it's closer or whichever but it would definitely be a lot handier having everything right here at our uh, fingertips basically so 
so this planter and cart um, are not publicly released. Uh, they are the edit to the planter, uh, adding the fertilizer discs and the rear hitch and the fer uh, liquid fertilizer system uh, was done by OS Farms Modding and Mapping. Uh, the liquid cart was also done up by him. Uh, he does have them out on his Patreon uh, for testing. I do believe that he is planning a public release. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but to my knowledge, uh, I believe that is his plan. So... long as uh, nobody decides to do anything to screw that up. So. Or adding a little bit of fertilizer in some areas. It's definitely not a lot. You know, it's not a large amount of fertilizer and it's not in a whole lot of areas. Jumping around a lot on our seed rate as well. So I think when we get down here to the end, we're going to stop and uh, we're going to just empty the seed tender into the planter. Um, we've only, we don't have a whole lot left in the tender, so we're just going to go ahead and empty it out and then... We'll uh, run it down and refill it. Let's get this cart unhooked here. We're going to open our covers up. And then we're going to run down here to our pickup. Well, maybe we are going to have weeds, I guess. So we might uh, we might have some spraying to do this uh, summer here. Yeah, we've only got 35 bushels in here, so we'll just uh, run it over and we'll get it uh, emptied out and then we'll run down and refill it Let's see if we can get it somewhat lined up at least pretty close as close as we're going to get it. So it uh, topped it off a little bit. So we are going to run over to the co-op and go get this filled back up.
This pickup does get a little squirrely with this uh, tender behind it, so hopefully we can do this without sending it off into the ditch. Hopefully soon we'll be able to expand our operation and pick up that uh, cow farm there. So you guys let me know what you think. You guys want to see us running cows on this map uh, or just keep the ranching part to our Ashton Corners series. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see on this series. If you want to see us get into some ranching as well or if you think that we should just uh, Stick to the grain operation on this. Now, one thing that I still do not understand is the trigger points for some of these trailers are just in absolutely ridiculous spots like there it wants to f start filling way in the back behind the tender all right a few thousand dollars m more uh spent but we got another <clears throat> 227 bushels of seed to uh, play with and get put into the ground so <coughs> hopefully it's not going to take all of this to get this done but uh, if it does well then we've got it Getting squirrely. <coughs> Excuse me. So then while we're in the pickup and have everything set up, we might as well uh, go ahead and top off the planter. That way we can just keep on rolling. And actually now thinking of it, tomorrow we're going to finish up planting our corn. <coughs> and then we're going to... Uh, try out that roller um, that the dealership brought us for demo. 
because we do need to roll our cornfields yet. <clears throat> kind of forgot about that. Uh, so we will be getting a start on that. little too far away I'd love to just buy that roller there but we unfortunately do not have <coughs> a tractor of our own uh, that will pull that big roller Otherwise, we could just uh, see about buying it, <clears throat> but fortunately, we don't have anything that would pull it. So, not sure what uh, what to do about that situation. I would definitely love to <coughs> purchase a setup like this in the future. <coughs> but that will uh, definitely be a little ways down the road. This is not a cheap setup to buy. I'm not sure if I'd want to run this size of a planter or if I'd want to look more into a uh, DB120 possibly or maybe we'll even uh, skip the deer and look at a case early riser uh, I don't think we're really gonna stick to one specific brand on this map um, I think I'm just kinda gonna run whatever basically um, whatever kind of suits the job that we need it for the best. I mean, we, we have a fair amount of, uh, John Deere right now, but we do have the Versatile and we have the off-brand Cedar. Um, I mean, we've got the Great Plains Cultivator, so I mean, we got a little bit of a mix going already, and I would definitely like to, uh, just kind of stay with a mixture of machinery uh, versus staying with just one brand. Ooh, I should have smoothed right there a little more. Might have to do that before harvest because that's <coughs> that's going to cause a lot of problems with uh, headers. We might be able to uh, make do with it. Well, we're 
getting there on this field. Slowly but surely here. Oh yeah, I definitely need to uh, adjust this area here. We still got some pretty sharp uh, hills there. I guess you could call it. say we are at least halfway done <clears throat> possibly a little bit more But I think that is going to do it for today, guys. Uh, I will get a little bit more of this <coughs> finished up off camera. And then when we come back tomorrow, we will finish up the seeding. We'll get the uh, planter and liquid cart cleaned up for the dealership. And then... Uh, we will get hooked on to that five drum roller that they sent us and uh, we'll be able to get going on rolling these two corn fields that we have and then we will be done with our spring field work. So thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and as always, We'll see y'all tomorrow.